I got tons of running around to do today. I'm gonna show y'all my little sundress I'm wearing. I'm a little fast today. I'm being a little hot girl today. <laughs> But anyway, I have a lot of running to do. I gotta go to Walmart. I need to go to the post office. I need to go to Walmart. I need to go. I'm trying to do all of this stuff before I have to go pick Jazz up from work. What do I gotta do at Walmart? I need to go to the post office. I need to pick up packages. Yeah, and come back home. Because I need to get back to work. Because as you can see, the bike and the box is still here. And that's simply because we haven't, I don't know why I could go put that little bitty tiny basket on there, but we have been cracking up about this. But, um, I have to get this stuff out of here, but we haven't finished the basket yet and we still got to do this and all that stuff. So that's why it looks the way it looks. It's going to be in a way, but I'm going to show y'all my little dress real quick before I pull out. Me and Coco is about to go. No one is home but us. Everybody else is at work. And I'm late getting out the door because I was working all day myself. <sighs> this slot's going on, okay? But let me show y'all real quick. What your girl looking like? So, I have on this cute dress. This is one of my little dresses from Shein. Uh, Y'all know I love me a good some sundress, and I'm wearing my little uh, flat mule-like sandals. I think these are super cute, but this is what's making me fast. These splits are kind of high up for you, girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, girl, what is you doing? But this is a very comfortable and cute dress i must say so myself and for those of you who might be wondering do i have one shapewear the answer is no i don't okay we jiggling today okay i do wear shapewear depending on the style of the dress depending on where i'm going but just for me to be walking around a store or running my errands, baby, if you don't like to see the jiggle, close your eyes and zip your lips. Because guess what? We jiggling, baby, today. All right. We jiggling, baby. Go ahead, baby. We jiggling, baby. So, yeah, everything's out. Your gut, my gut's out, my butt's out. Everything is just jiggling. It just is what it is. I would have preferred a larger size in this dress, but... Yeah, I plan on just keep shrinking because that'll help the dress fit a little bit better and that'll also help close up my sides a little bit. So I'm not buying anything bigger, you know, because your girl peep game that I've never been head and shoulders in my life and now, you know, my neck is disappearing. So we got to work on that. I, and, and you know what I noticed? I be talking with these girls. Um, you know, everybody, all of us is on this weight loss journey. And a lot of them is saying that I don't eat enough. Like, that is my biggest problem. My body is continuously in starvation mode. And that could be very true, you guys. And that is so depressing and stressful for me. Because I don't know what to do about that. What am I supposed to do about that? I, how do you eat when you're not hungry? Like, <sighs> but whatever that's another video we will talk about that later if y'all got some tips do comment down below because i have been putting protein shakes in my coffee for that reason because i go without breakfast and stuff like that a lot of times and then i don't eat until dinner time i might be snacking might not be so i've been putting protein shakes in my coffee so that i'm getting some of my nutrients you feel me so i don't know but anyway let's let's go let me, let's get up well me and the little one i made it to walmart come on you see that you see that garbage right there Go put it in there. <clears throat> That's the old people staring. What they looking at? Well, we not doing no shopping, Miss Ma'am. 
brushing and grab her apart. We're doing fine, thank you. First time a greeter actually greeted me in a long time. Yeah, so I gotta pick up my my glasses. Um, hopefully, hopefully they fit and look good and all that. Uh oh, I don't know. Let me sit y'all somewhere. Hi, I need to pick up my glasses. They just came in, I guess. Yeah, so we had our glasses, and I'm hoping that they are. You got to switch out, yo. I don't think I even showed y'all which frames I got. I ended up getting, I went with some cheap frames so I can make sure this description is okay. Oh, sure. Come on, cook on lady. Oh, the dog is so pretty. Uh oh. Hmm. See how we looking. <laughs> I'm not sure if I need to do any adjustments before you head out. Let's see if I can see any better. It may feel a little odd at first. Does it have like an odd feeling you can see, but it's a funny feeling? Yeah, it's like I can't see like It's almost like the eyes are different. Yeah. Well, the prescription is a little different in, in each eye. Uh, I don't know, this is like too bad. I don't know. Let me do some adjustment to bring it a little closer to you there. I don't think it's nose. you. I think it's probably the prescription. Because my prescription drastically changed. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was telling the girl. Before I spent a lot of money on the frames, I wanted to make sure my prescription was right. And I'm feeling like I was right. Did you get that last one from us, buddy? Or have you ordered no. one? No. Oh, okay. These are these are very old, but from the last pair, I lost them. Okay. Between these and these, I these lost days. them, and the prescription is drastically different. Okay. So like both eyes were very close enough to the point where I had one prescription, but now it's changed. And this feels, it's almost like I feel dizzy. Like I can't drive with these. Okay. So what I would recommend is go ahead and finish off the day if you feel comfortable in this old pair. Try or go finish the day and then tomorrow, you know, once you've had some rest, your eyes have relaxed, yeah. put those on and try to go see through what the happens. day and yeah. see if you notice a difference. Yeah, because that little, is, these. That feels comfortable. I can see, okay. but. Yeah, those are really. <laughs> well, I was I telling her I, did, I need to see a, a, a. I wanted a second opinion okay. because I'm like, how did my prescription change that bad that fast? Okay. I have problems with dry eyes, so depending on when I come in, if if my vision is like really bad off, my last doctor wouldn't prescribe me until we cleared up the dryness. Oh, okay. And so I'm afraid that that's probably what happened. Okay. But I'm going uh, to follow it, your... Give it a couple of days just to see if this, it starts to feel more natural. Yeah, because this has never happened to me. Okay. I pick up my glasses and I'm fine. I've never... Right. <laughs> I mean, I can understand that. I'm going to adjust the nose pads a little bit first. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> this is so weird. Like... I can't see off them glasses. <laughs> That's crazy. One thing I hate is for somebody to try to play me like I'm dumb. <laughs> Y'all, they told me to wear these glasses for, I feel like my eyes going across. Like, <laughs> they told me to wear these glasses for a week. Wear them for a week, 
and then if they don't feel any better bring them back i've been wearing glasses okay for about 20 years okay i have never this is the first time that i have ever went and picked up glasses and i feel like i'm dizzy and i'm about to tip over like these glasses oh my god mm -mm. Mm -mm. these coach frames are so old that they got way less prescription in them than those mm -mm. not gonna work basically these are two point these are 1.75 the new prescription is 2.0 how I jump from 1.75 to 2.0 in a matter of a few months. Come on. I told y'all I deal with problems with my eyes being really dry. And I think that that's the issue. That's, that's what I think. I think that's the issue. And it sucks because nobody's listening to me no nobody's hearing what i'm saying i he, he probably should have put me at a 2.0 i don't know what he sees i just know that when my eyes are really dry and i can't see anything i go to the doctor and they'll tell me oh you got you got these little bumps all on your eyes that's why you can't see when they look at my eye they can see a different prescription from what i'm able to read off when you know how they have those letters i can't see the letters that i should be able to see so when i went to a female because i told y'all that i only deal with female doctors and just period you know proper care feral that's why i deal with only female so i in this particular uh instance i didn't and I, it's kind of hard to choose female or find female when it's dealing with my eyes so i just pretty much just go to get you know glasses or whatever the female that i was dealing with before i moved here she was in uh vegas and she would not give me a prescription until my eyes were clear enough for me to be able to see what i was reading and she just refused to 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 do that she had me on these drops oh my god bro you made me miss the light she had me on these eye drops some kind of steroid drops that didn't work so she gave me a stronger prescription and then when I went and picked that prescription up, that actually worked, helped clear it up. It didn't clear it up 100%, but it cleared it up. She had me taking uh, vitamin uh, omega-3, which I was I had already bought a bottle because I wanted to start taking it. She had me taking omega-3. She had me uh, doing drops at night and sleeping with the eye mask she had me a whole regimen i did that for two weeks just like what she told me to do and it worked it cleared up my eyes and when i went back she was like this is much better and then she gave me my prescription well the same thing happened this time and i explained to the man everything that happened to me before and his response was he want to know everything she did like so what did she do and how did she you know i felt like he want to follow her regimen instead of having his own so i told, told him everything she had me doing Ooh, excuse me and he still prescribed me glasses and contacts so that's why that's probably why we're at a 2.5 i can't i couldn't see jack when I put them glasses on, y'all, I feel dizzy. I feel like when you look down, you about to tip over. Like, I can't drive like that. I'm too scared to drive like that. So here I am. Hello? Girl, my phone just automatically answered. <laughs> yeah, I was sitting here. Ooh, we just let me pass. I'm not standing this line. I saw.
so. Tell me what it is. What you want from me? We're going to Cromwell. Mm -mm, guys, tell them where I'm going. 30 minute drive. I just did. Where are we going? That's it. We're going to Cromwell. Ask Coco. <laughs> Coco, where are we going? Cromwell. <laughs> Combo. Combo. Say combo. Combo. Uh, all right. Yeah. So. <laughs> combo. Combo. Yeah, I may hug it on camera and tell y'all what she's doing. Uh, she just requested I drive to Crumble, so I'm. <laughs> she better be glad I ain't. I was come on, come on, in a good mood. I got so much stuff I need to be doing. Mom, but, I gotta take it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're about to run the crumble and get these cheering some some cookies. Yeah. And then get back on this road. Yeah. All the way back home. It's so much traffic out here. Like now is never a good time to be out on the road. It's rush hour. Mm -mm. They driving way too slow. My sugar boo. I love it. Here, hit this button. Oh. Okay, we're here. Yes. I'm on the beach. You wanna get away? Yes. Why are many crumbles sell ice cream? Yes, the friends go to What? Is this new? Um, I think we got them back in the store at the beginning of the year. But we haven't been no long. We haven't had these. Um I'm getting one of each of these, so they're working. Everybody's working together. Jazz is trying the ice cream. What you think? I didn't. I didn't know Crumble had ice cream. They didn't. You didn't know what she said. She said the beginning of this year. And we it haven't ain't been, been there long. Yes, we have been there long. Last time we went to Crumble, we was at Oshi House. Oh, we sure did. Golly. Well, that's a good. That's that's good because you know that means that we are not uh, eating fast stuff over there. Good because you know that means that we are not eating fast stuff all the time. Cause it's far. What? <laughs> That is not true because it's far it. for her. No, 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 That's no. not true because I wouldn't be eating it. No, no, no. You would be eating it as long as the house was open. No. Because the amount of times we went over there. <laughs> <laughs> what flavor do you got? Ice cream? Yeah. Can you handle my cookies properly, please? You know she can in no tea. Um. Um. Cookie dough crunch. Cookie dough crunch. I broke my All skin. of them was nasty. They had sneaker doodle, like just not flavors I wanted to taste. So I was expecting some uh, Easter flavor. Easter is over. Okay. So it probably ended yesterday. Oh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what the fuck we doing? Oh, I can't see. Man, yeah, I'm about to show y'all these. Big, beautiful homes. Yeah, you gotta try not to let it shake. Maybe you could put the window back where it was. No, you need to see. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at that, look, look, look at these castles over here. Oh, look, look, girl, girl. Ooh, both sides of the street. See, that's what I'm talking about. Look at the neighbors over here. All the neighbors' houses. I looking good as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm talking about. Neighbors need to have the same type of house. But we listen to the music, so we just gonna show y'all and play our music at the same time.
So I decided to go ahead and do this haul in the vlog because I got to try on these clothes. We done made it back home and I got a few pieces I need to try on to see how they fit and to see, you know, if I'm going to keep them, if they are winners. So let's just get to it, girl. Ah, uh, of course not my house dress, but this shirt, this shirt, oh my God, it's rolling up a little bit, but that's okay. I really love this shirt. I feel super duper sexy. <laughs> I mean, why not? The only thing is, I'm not taking my bra off because I need to see how my bra look in the other stuff. But the back is completely out. Like, everything is out, girl. You have to be one confident sister to wear this shirt, okay? I could see me wearing this with some high waist jeans or even some high waist leggings. It just depends on how I'm feeling. You know, with some like some heels, honey. And I don't even know where I'm going. Just just yes, the whole shirt. Just yes. That's all. <laughs> this outfit is super comfortable. Like, this is so comfortable. The problem is, it's too thin. It got like everything, everything. All my dimples, all my dents, they gonna be seen. But I'm comfortable. And that's all that matter, right? The other thing is, you have to be very strategic with what underwear you, you decide to put on because yeah, it's just have everything hanging all out in the back. <laughs> y'all see all that so I will probably wear I don't know like some satin and some very big underwear to like cover everything all your booty because yeah this 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 is what you get but it's comfortable and I'm keeping it and I love the color so this one is another comfortable two piece set well with some sneakers Maybe all white or all black. Comfortable. But also very thin. She in. Y'all know you get what you pay for. So I mean you can't expect too much. From them. For what you pay for it. You can draw these strings if you like. To make the shirt ruche a little bit. Which I probably won't do that. But as you can see, it's thin in the back as well. It's very thin. Same. You better make sure you wear you some decent kind of um, uh, undergarment under here. Maybe not a girdle, but something else. And I don't know how many more I got, but I'm keeping this as well. I just thought this shirt was cute. This shirt, of course, don't go with these pants. But I just thought this shirt was really, really cute. It has this cutout right here, like this weird shape cut. But y'all know, that's just me. I like different stuff. I like for my stuff to, you know, be just different. So this is just a regular plain shirt with a little cutout, just to give me a little oomph to my shirt. Yeah, I really like this. And I got it in this like tan or nude type color so that it could go with pretty much anything. Knowing me, I'll probably match it with something black. But yes, I like this one as well. And I will be keeping this shirt. This is so stinking cute. I love this swimsuit, you guys. This feels like so sexy. And y'all know red is my favorite color. I might have to pop out the um, boob, boob things because, yeah, my boobs are slightly bigger than what they have to offer up in here. But I didn't think these panties were going to fit, and they do. I am shocked. I have them on over my underwear for sanitary purposes. Y'all know how they go, and I, I can't, I can't turn around too much. But, because YouTube ain't going to let me turn around, okay? But this is what it looks like on the front. And I really like it. I think it's 
so it's so me girl like it's me i don't mind letting it hang out baby because guess what it's all a part of me this is who i am this is she okay so i can't let y'all see too much but it just know that my whole butt is covered like covered like a granny panty cover there is no bikini about this okay this is i don't know who beach i'm going to that's the crazy part i don't know who what beach i'm going to this summer with a daughter that's getting married i have no idea but uh it's okay at least i'll be beach ready okay i'm keeping this i am so sad you guys out of everything that i had i wanted this to fit so bad okay i wanted this to fit this this is when you know i want to pull out my business classy you know what i'm saying because i have it all you want me to be ready for athletic time i got clothes for that you need me to go to church i got clothes for that you need me to come for business i got clothes for that you need me to go to a classy restaurant upscale restaurant i got clothes for that okay and this i thought this was so cute these are shorts but ooh, sorry y'all they don't fit you guys look oh my god they they won't close my waistline is too big and they're too short i didn't want them to fit this short but they are like highway shorts and this is the blazer to go with it y'all i really thought i was about to be cute i really like this oh don't y'all like it too don't y'all like it too it doesn't fit but maybe this could be my motivation outfit because i'm not sending this back this blazer is mine and i will find a way to put this together with something else until your girl get in these shorts okay but <laughs> this was so cute that's all right we keeping it we're keeping this one as well unless somebody got a good dollar amount that they want me to sell it to them for then i might think about it 